Hello, in this video we will go over how to create an assignment in My Courses. First, navigate to a content area, such as the one you see on your screen now. Go to the Assessment button at the top of the page and then choose Assignment. The first thing you will need to do is give your assignment a name. Beneath the name box you can type in some instructions for your assignment. When submitting an assignment, students can either type something directly into the assignment box or you can have them attach something. If you would like your students to attach something, we recommend that you add that to the instructions. The recommended format for attachments is Microsoft Word documents. Beneath the box for instructions, you also have a place where you can attach a file. This is where you can provide expanded instructions or a template you might want students to follow for this assignment. Beneath the assignment files area, you have a due date field. This due date will appear on the course calendar, on the What's New page under To Do, and also on the main page of the assignment when students click on it. Anything submitted after this due date will appear as late in your Needs Grading page. The grading section has several pieces. First, it's important to set a points possible for this assignment. The points possible determines how many points you will grade this assignment out of. Under Submission Details, you have the ability to either make this assignment an individual submission or a group submission. Individual submission will assign this assignment to every student, which means each person should submit their own attempt. Choosing group submission, you can choose between different groups that you've already set up in your course to assign this assignment to. For example, if I were to assign this to sample set 1, only the students in sample set 1 would see this assignment, and only one person in sample set 1 group would need to submit on behalf of their entire group. Once you grade the submission of one group, the grade and feedback automatically go to all members of the group. The number of attempts drop-down allows you to choose how many times you would like students to submit to this assignment. By default, it is set to single attempt, which means students can submit once. You have the option to choose multiple or unlimited attempts. Plagiarism tools will automatically check anyone's submissions for plagiarism. Just check off the Check Submissions for Plagiarism using Safe Assign option to turn this on. Other options below are for allowing students to see the originality report of their attempt and excluding their submissions from the Institutional and Global References database. If you check the first box, this will allow students to see how plagiarized their paper may have been. If you check the last box, that will make it so that no student papers will be submitted to the global database. Excluding a submission from the Institutional and Global References database would make it so that the student's paper does not get submitted to this database of papers, which other people's papers are checked against. Under Grading Options, you have Anonymous and Delegated Grading. If you choose Anonymous Grading, this will remove student names and information from the submissions and will allow you to anonymously grade all submissions. If you would like to turn off Anonymous Grading after a certain point, you can use the Dates field down below the checkbox. The Enable Delegated Grading tool allows you to assign specific groups of students or random groups of students to certain instructors or TAs in your course. This is a way to break up who grades what group or random group of students submissions to this particular assignment. In this case, here are all the instructors and TAs in my course. I can either have them all grade all of the submissions, or I can change the option here to random set or groups. If I choose group, it will ask me what groups I want to have this person grade. If I chose random here, it would just choose how many submissions I'd want this person to grade. This can be a good way to have multiple clinical instructors or teaching assistants handle multiple submissions to the same assignment. The Display of Grades field will allow you to change how a student will see their grade on their My Grades page. This is done through changing the primary display. Score will just show students whatever score they got. So, if this assignment was out of 100 points and you gave them a 95, they would see 95 out of 100. Letter will display their score grade as a letter instead. The score is translated to a letter using the UMass Dartmouth Letter Grading Breakdown. Text will allow you to enter anything you like as a grade. Any word, any phrase, you could type in try again, resubmit. Typically, text would only be used for things that aren't really graded, because anything entered as a text grade would not be calculated into a final grade or average later on. Percentage will display the score as a percent. This means if a student got 50 out of 50 points, they will see a 100%. Lastly, complete slash incomplete will show any positive value score as a check mark in their My Grades page. The secondary display has the same options, but this display will only show to instructors in the Grade Center in parentheses next to the other grade that students see in their My Grades page. Unchecking the Including Grade Center Calculations checkbox would make it so that this grade cannot be calculated in with a final grade or average. Unchecking the Show Students in My Grades checkbox will make it so that students do not see their grade for this assignment in their My Grades page. This can always be changed later by visiting the Grade Center. 
The Show Statistics checkbox will let students see the average and median grade for all of the class in their My Grades page for this assignment. Lastly, you have availability options. The display after and display until date can be used to make something appear at a certain day and time and disappear at a certain day and time. To finish creating your assignment, press the submit button at the bottom of the page.